I would like to demonstrate the procedures for pairing our four channel smart switch with the iOS, iPad, or iPhone Ewe Link app. I would like to uh, mention that we're dealing with a circuit board which uh, can be a little sensitive for static, therefore it's a good idea that if you're going to uh, work with the circuit board that you touch it by the plastic contacts or by the sides of the board and not by the components on the board. If you have uh, mounted it inside the acrylic case with the lid on top of the case it's possible to activate the manual switches with a simple small screwdriver. But for showing this and demonstrating, I'm going to take the lid off, and you can see the device here. The first thing we need to do is connect some power. I'm going to connect 5 volts. And we'll see that the light is blinking over on the right-hand side at the bottom. That's the LED control light. Before we go further with pairing, I'm going to start the program. You should have downloaded the program that's called Ewe Link to your iOS device. Um, if you haven't done that, you need to do that from the App Store. Search after Ewe Link and download it and install it on your device. Once you've installed it, you will be required to register for an account to control all your devices. Uh, if you have any questions about that, we have a, an instructions manual on our website under the device, or under the smart switch, Some you see here. I'm going to start the app. As you can see, I've already got some devices uh, in my list, but I want to add this four-channel smart switch to my devices. I'm going to press the plus sign and the instructions for what you need to do are uh, you can see them on the screen we need to hold the pairing button down for five seconds to enter the pairing state to do that on the right hand side you have five, uh, four switches each switch corresponds to a relay four, three, two, and one but we're only going to use one of those switches and that will be the first one at the bottom closest to the LED light. I'm going to push it in and hold it for five seconds. And you can see it starts blinking rapidly. Once it starts blinking rapidly it's in pairing state and you can see it corresponds to the blinking lamp on the first picture on the screen. So I've chosen that and then I'm just going to push next. Now the app wants me to go into the iOS settings menu and into the Wi-Fi menu. And I'm going to do that now. Into the settings. Wi-Fi. As you can see on the list here, I'm connected to my local Wi-Fi router, the Swaina Wi-Fi. But I need to change that over to the IT device, and that is the uh, 4-channel smart switch. So I'll push in on it. If it is the first time that you've added this device, it will come up and ask for the password for the device. The password is 1234567. Once we're connected to the device, go back, open the app again, press next. Fill in the information about your uh, router if it's not there already. Uh, you can just press in and type in the SSID and the password for the router. Press Next. It will connect to the device and connect the, the device to your Wi-Fi router and connect the device to the cloud through the router.
once this step is completed you have the possibility to change the name you can also do that later but it's for me it's a good idea to do it right now as I have many devices added successfully okay as you can see the test bench the device I just added the four channel smart switch it's light gray that means it, it's not active yet it is not active on the cloud it takes a couple of minutes for the unit to be activated on the cloud now I'm just going to go out of the program wait a couple of minutes and then I'll start it up again and it should be there as you can see my four channel smart switch is active I can press each of the relays and turn it on and off by pressing the arrow to the right down at the bottom I can go directly into the device here I have the possibility to rename the individual relay for whatever the output is supposed to be I can share this device with other registered users I can uh, create time schedules for turning it on and off and uh, countdown scheduling. We're paired and ready to go.